Mm. What's going on, guys? So, we're in Missouri now. Eric and Jesse just dropped me off. I literally came 50 yards. And I've already seen three deer in here. The old slew bed. Two big blocks of timber coming in from the north. Uh, man, it looks good right here. I'm actually going to try to get over. You can see those trees right there. That's where I'm going to try to get over to. See what it looks like over there. Figure out where they're coming through this thing the most at. Because this little levee, for lack of a better term, right here behind me. I know for sure there's beds. Because I just jumped three dough off of it. So... It's good over here. Guys, it's November 8th. We've got three days to get this done. However, there's a really good cold run moving in tonight, Thursday and Friday, which are the last two days. Tomorrow and the next day, it's going to be brutal cold in the mornings. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for over here on the edge of this CRP is tomorrow when it's really cold. It's got to be sunshiny. Those deer get up on their feet and they're over here in this little open spot. I'm either going to see the deer at 300 yards and get to watch it all the way in, or I'm not going to see it until it's 15 yards from me.
Day. Oh, it's actually about 10 o'clock in the morning. It's early. Everybody's gonna think I'm crazy. Did you see these roller trees? I've actually been sitting in that curved tree right there. Anyways, these bucks. In the last three hunts, I've seen five shooters, all of which are cruising the edge of basically this little bridge that's out there in the CRP. And uh, other than that eight point yesterday. None of them, and I seen that eight point again this morning. And he stayed out there on that little ridge. Now the does are turning, coming up underneath me. But the bucks, I think that there's been, I know there's been pressure. If them boys is watching this, good work. They've been putting this a work over here on them dudes. But anyways, I think now they're pushed back in the CRP and I've been glassing this little spot. It's probably 120 yards off the edge. 
The CRP is like six and a half foot tall, but there's a little opening out there. And every one of those bucks have went through there. I've seen four different bucks this morning. Every one of them crossed that exact same spot. Yesterday, I saw three bucks. All three crossed that exact same spot. FBI calls that a clue. I'm going to Walmart to buy a turkey chair. Well, guys, we're leaving Walmart. It's just dumb enough. It might work. So y'all seen my game plan. We got this camo dust. And I've got this brand new hotness chair right here. I'm fixing to dust this stuff up. Dust all this up really, really good because the wind is... It's not bad, but it's not perfect. I'm going to try to get dusted up and be as scent free as possible because if this works, they're going to be close. Guys, y'all ain't gonna believe this. Oh my God. I don't even wanna go over yet. So I got over here, y'all. And you could see the blood all over this stuff. And I was like, I wanna see. I just wanna ease up this just a little bit because I thought I heard a crash. I don't know how many points this dude has, but it's a lot. Or, or maybe not. Look at that Oh my gosh. What's going on guys? So uh, it's Friday, November 10th. I've been sitting on the riverbank all morning waiting on my buddies to smash something. Eric just got over here because he just dropped the hammer. So after you watch this video, just get yourself ready because Eric shot him a Missouri buck this morning 
but Eric's fixing to come in here with me. We're finna trail this thing up. Uh, so let's go. Now we're gonna go up uh, to where I shot him. And then as y'all seen a minute ago, we kind of know where, where he at. Here. He came up this trail right here, and I was right through a little hole right there. A shot, and he bound, went this way, and that was the first first speck of blood I found right there. It was about four yards in. And uh, what I actually did was gonna walk over here to my arrow. My arrow blew through him, and so yesterday I was gonna walk over here to my arrow, and then I realized that there was pretty good blood. Um, and so I kept eating. My arrow was right here. And I know it's hard for y'all to see because it's the following morning. But there's just blood sprayed. Eric can see it, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. But there was just blood sprayed through here. It's from belly button high. All the way down. Uh, I actually shot this one with a uh, NAP kill zone. Okay. It's because we couldn't find rages with the collars. Yeah, they quit making the rages with the collars. Blood just, I don't know if you can see that in the camera there, but I mean, it's just blood everywhere. I got up to about this point right here, and it's just a trail of blood through there, all the way up to this guy right here. Oh, yeah, what's going on, guys? It is uh, November 10th, and here we are um, in Missouri. We finished it up in Iowa earlier this week. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown. Um, obviously the reason that I posted this video guys is to not be scared to try something different. Um, with this place here, you can see we're sitting out in the middle of like an 800 acre CRP field. The pressure's got these deer pushed in there. They wouldn't come out. Um, went to Walmart middle of the day, bought a little chair, came out and it worked out. I mean, almost perfect. Actually, I mean, absolutely perfect to be dead honest with you. He is a, uh, a mainframe, I guess like 10 um and then he's got three kickers off of him he's got a split g4 over here um just a beautiful uh 13 point i mean i could <laughs> i couldn't be happier iowa and then missouri um and then as i just said a while ago guys eric's sitting behind the camera right now and he's smiling like a possum because he's got some bone laying on the ground just on the other side of this thing he got it done this morning jesse's still up in the tree Guys, I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Go back to the homepage, hit the little bell up top because you never know where we're going to be. And I'm telling you, this season started off slow and it has picked up quick. We've killed five bucks in the last five days. This season's going to be nuts. You don't want to miss it. Good hunting, guys. We'll see you from a tree.